Welcome back, everybody, to another Brood of War ladder cast. We've got quickly spawning down here in the bottom right. Yuck! Is here in the top right, and I've just been looking forward to taking another look at some quickly games. He's been showing us some great performance. Really don't know anything about this player, but the legacy of. Uh, uh, some lore is being formed here. And he's going to be taking on Hyuk, who is, I think, someone he should definitely have a good shot against, considering how well he did previously against other pro players. Should have us a really good game here, with quickly having a, a really solid chance of taking him down. He's on his main account. He's like 2400, 2500, a very, very strong Protoss player. If you haven't seen those other games with Quickly, you're wondering who this guy is, I'll uh, put a link up here. You guys can go check out those other games that I cast already. We already did two other games. Um, both of them against Pro Protoss players, I think, Hero and somebody else. I can't remember now. Uh, maybe there was a Terran mixed in there, I can't remember. But uh, quickly here, going to be checking out the main base of Hyuk, and he could potentially block this. It's all up to the uh, control here from Hyuk. He's going to pull an extra drone, and he might be able to get the uh, the moving shot here. Oh, a little bit of a mistake there. Oh, he should have really gotten a shot off. Uh, at least one shot right there. He definitely should be able to get the hatchery down now. He's making some lings. And he will start that hatchery. Dude, I think there was, there was a, a few chances, several chances there for Hyuk to actually get that moving shot going. But unfortunately, he misses that opportunity. The pro managing to get away here. Pretty painful. Uh, all the lings are going to be spotted. So the zealot gets to head back home here. If he kills the probe... The Zealot might have kept walking across the map, and then you get the Zealot kill for free, which uh, is a big boost here in the early game. Now, Probe is going to chill in the front of the natural, make sure that there's no additional links coming. Just wants to make sure that that's not happening right now. He's not getting all in or anything. Um, should be seeing drones coming down soon. We have the gas on the way. And this is quite a bit of pressure quickly. You know, he's got to respect this. Definitely don't want to let any lings run by here as well. I was just trying to buy that time for the second or third zealot to pop out here, excuse me. And it's pretty risky to leave the ramp like this, but he's going to prevent this gateway from getting too badly hurt. And I guess that's worth it. The lings, for their part, not going to dive in too brazenly here. And not going to try to run by either. Some good respect from Yuck here. Respecting that quickly should be able to block that ramp before he can run by and he might have been true It might have been true. It might not have been it might not be the case that he could get back there in time uh, But he's gonna give him that respect and so he won't get anything by but he won't lose any of his lings either so Gonna send one ling home Got to pick off that probe We don't have ling speed here We'll see in a moment if he wants to take that Has the layer on the way though, and that's all been revealed First three zealots thinking about moving out here putting on a little pressure. He hasn't even thrown on the cannon yet though So I can't imagine him moving out like this Cybernetic core in the wall Forge is done, but a cannon has not started yet. There's that cannon going down The uh, Stargate be it Placed as well, but the probe is getting so much information. Oh my god even two drones Trying to chase that down. Wasting a little bit of mining time here. Hyuk really wanting to get rid of that, but he never got Ling Speed. I mean, it's on the way now. But this probe has just been in the main for so long. He's, he knows everything. Four Zealots are going to move out on the map. Some of the gateway uh, uptime has been uh, kind of thrown aside here by Quickly. I don't think he's had uh, Zealot constantly being incremented out here, but he is going to start to move out, just kind of obfuscate on the map. 
make the Zerg think that, you know, he might be coming into perhaps this top left base. A nice Overlord placement over here, by the way. That's a really great Overlord. That Overlord placement right there, uh, if the Zealots show themselves right here, that gives you enough time to run Lings on both sides to ca catch the Zealots up here in the top left um, before they make it over here and start hitting the, the drones. So if you have your Overlord right here, you're not going to have enough time to react. So I really like that Overlord placement. He built a bunch more Lings thinking that the Zealots were coming, but the Zealots just headed right back home and quickly is just in a great spot here. He's had so much information this game he hasn't lost even a single zealot thus far so forcing out a lot of lings not losing any zealots and getting all the scouting information necessary he might even get an overlord here it's gonna be close actually no he won't get it he'll have to run away here hopefully he doesn't lose the corsair for quickly sake here oh i guess he just barely does get it look at that so close that timing not gonna be a bit frustrated i think things have really not been going well for him thus far how is he gonna follow up here armor for his mutil mutas is he gonna go like full on mutilisk i think so look at that third gas coming up already has 700 minerals in the bank hasn't thrown down six hatcheries yet just sticking on the five Saving up gas right now. He's probably going to pop a few extra overlords in order to you know, throw out a bunch of mutas here. Seven mutas are going to be on the way. It's something I struggle with sometimes. You know, mutas are uh, double the supply cost of hydras. So if you're producing out of five hatcheries mutas, it does add up very very fast you have to produce a lot of overlords to keep up with that production you can see he's a little supply blocked right now with four overlords on the way hard to balance uh, this economy right now but he's got five more sets of scourge so 10 scourge are coming that's enough to kill every single one of these corsairs with proper splitting. And the Zealots here are going to make their way over towards the natural. Let's see how this fight goes. Because this should be a, a pretty telling fight to see where these two players are at. Here we go. Coming in now with all the uh, Scourge. He's going to dive on top and kills one of the Corsairs. Now the Corsairs don't have anything to do but run. They have to run. They have to bail out here. And the Mutas are going to town on these Zealots. Looks like Zealot might get a kill here in the natural maybe two kills with just the one sunken colony attacking it the drone goes down here in the main as well but that was a great hold overall by yuck yuck managing to shove everything back without too much trouble even got a corsair or two there and we're down to just five corsairs now and only one cannon in the main pretty ballsy here of quickly to not build any extra cannons because that cannon will fall very very fast and it looks like he may end up regretting that decision. Four Corsairs are left. That's still enough to fight here. So I don't think that Yuck can stay. He's going to try and stay and fight this. Yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Going after the Templar here now. The Templar will survive. Backing away. He can make an Archon. A little bit further back. Going after another Templar. Make that Archon. He does get the Archon. Getting that Archon is actually huge right now. It's so massive. And he's going to get the moving shot. Oof, that was really close. Two Archons now in this army. If he makes a big round of Zealots and goes to one of these bases, it's going to be hard. Even this base is going to be hard to get in here. Or it's going to be hard to uh, to hold, uh, actually, for Hyuk. So he throws down two more Sunken Colonies and makes a lot more Mutas. Wow, so many Mutas being made right here. A lot of drones popping out as well. Doing a good job chasing down some of these Zealots, but with a bunch of Corsairs, five Corsairs and two Archons, your Mutalisk army will evaporate really, really fast. Now, diving into the main here with just three Mutas, I can't imagine what this thought process is like. 
very, very strange here. Yuck throwing those meters in, but he's going to retreat now, head up towards the top left. This is probably the hardest space to get into um, for quickly, but only has two sunken colonies. So let's see how this goes. Hydras are on the way. I'm going to go after that Hydra's den. If he picks off the Hydra den, maybe he can get in there, deal that damage. Does kill off the Hydra den pretty rapidly. A lot of Scourge are going to pop out here. Can they get the connections that they need? Looks like they will. A lot of good connections there. Only two Corsairs left. He'll get both of them. So both Corsairs do go down. Um, and the Archons will fall here shortly as well. Just need to spread the Mutas a little bit. And utilize the Sunken Colony damage to finish that off. Does pick off both those Archons. Only one Corsair left. Just gun that down. He will hold this push. Very, very well done here by Hyuk. That was a lot of chaos going on. All at the same time, the targeting from the Sunken Colonies had to be perfect. Uh, the control with the Mutilus, likewise. You really have to avoid the splash damage as much as possible. And it feels like he did that near flawlessly. So quickly here, having a hard time now. He can't really take this base with this number of Muta out. Mutas, excuse me. And no Archon in this army. Oh man, but this counterattack is dirty right now. Ooh, great storm there. Another good storm, killing off some Scourge as well, and really damaging those, bruising those Mutilus, but this attack could be a game changer here. That's so many Zealots and two High Templar that have made their way over here to the top left, and Hyuk doesn't know anything about this right now. He's got no idea, and you can't hold this with just a few Hydras. Um, you can't hold this with a big group of Hydras either. You really need to snipe Templar before they get on top of your stuff. Go for the Archon. Nice job. Makes the Archon as well. That's going to buy some time. The uh, Mutas have to target that down. And meanwhile, another counterattack over here towards the fourth base. Templar makes its way over here. Yuck is being pulled apart, man. Yuck is a pro gamer, a consummate pro. Being pulled apart by quickly here. Another one. Guys, I'm really, really impressed by quickly here. Finding ways to get back into this game, even though his attacks didn't go that well so far. Uh, up until this point, I should say. This attack right here, by just sending out Zealots and Templar on the map, managed to fool Yuck. He thought that he was sitting back in his base trying to take a third, but not the case. Quickly was going for a big counterattack with two Templar. It shouldn't have been allowed to cross the map. If you spot that with your with your uh, Mutas, you just snipe the two Templar and it's easy peasy cleanup from there with the Mutas. But because the Templar were able to cross the map uh, for free there, he's able to get this great attack going and deal a huge amount of damage. Now he will clear this in the top left, but now we've got Dragoons, Templar and Archon sitting out here in the front. He's gonna be putting on that big pressure. He already killed the fourth base. Quickly looking very, very good. He's poised to win this game right now. He just needs to get this base online. Make sure that just a couple of mutas don't come down here, or a group of mutas come down here, and stop all the cannons, because that would be tragic. Don't want to be losing any Templar to this group of mutas either. That's still 11 mutas. is a very scary force. Now going into Ling upgrades here. Uh, interesting choice from Hyuk. Trying to get that extra hatchery online. The mining here is horrible, but he has to make do with what he can get in these kind of trying times here against quickly. Can he snipe the back Templar? He does, but he loses a couple of Mitas, and the rest are so badly bruised at this point. They're just like one storm, maybe a couple Archon hits away from death, so... He can't really dive in and snipe any more Templar here and quickly may leverage that fact to push across the map. While there's still no lurkers out here. Another Muta being produced. Is he actually going to make another round of Mutas here? Uh, I don't think he's got the gas for that. Especially not uh, to do that and make uh, Hydras here. Going into Hive. Is he going to start... Adrenal upgrade. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now because he went for that such a fast plus one attack. He does go for that adrenal. Um, he's going to try and overpower with lings, but 
you're gonna see that quickly has so many units he's just got so much stuff coming in from the back once again gonna snipe a couple of these templar he gets one he will get two but at the cost of about half of his mutilist force pretty brutal here yuck doesn't know about this base he should be able to shut this down if he finds out about it there it is he sees it he will at least kill a couple of the cannons here and force the army back for now can he move into position while this is being harassed maybe he can bring all of his lings and hydras and everything up here and get ready to dive upon this looks like he's not ready to do that just yet he's actually setting up his fourth a mineral only base We'll see if he can slowly edge his way back into this game. It's four base to four base, so it doesn't seem very likely. But with the hive, I don't see a defiler's nest or den, a mound, whatever it's called. Defiler mound? Yeah, that's it. Uh, without that, I, I just don't see how you can make this happen. You need to start chaining plagues. You need to start getting some free damage off, some trades that aren't just throwing army in against storms um this is some good free damage here picking off quite a few probes with those five mutas that is the one shot number that key number but he's not going to be able to get much more out of this there's the defiler mound finally coming up here getting into all three upgrades wow he's just getting hydralisk range right now guys Yikers, this is a this is a rough game for Hyuk, man. Just really having a hard time. 17 minute range. The defiler mound is almost done. And we haven't gotten range yet. That is wild. Luckily for him, there's not gonna be any sort of really big engagement before that upgrade is done, because that upgrade, you need that so badly. It's kind of like Dragoons, how badly they fight without range is pretty pathetic. We come through with some cracklings here on the left-hand side. Right-hand side is going to have to hold here from the high ground. Looks like he tried to do some sort of counter, but pulled back. Thought better of it. Same thing with Quickly. He's going to fall back as he takes a fifth base in the top left. Or in the bottom left, excuse me. I think we're going to see a base here from Hyuk as well. But I don't know if he can hold on, man. He doesn't have even a single lurker. He got 1,500 gas. Yuck. I mean, he finally does finish range at least, but these are some premium storms hitting on this army. A lot of hydras are going down. Lings are going to come from behind, though. Okay, lings are getting eaten up by these storms. Great surround, though, in the end. Dude, the ling transition. Pretty decent here for Yuck. He's going to be able to kill a lot of these dragoons. And all the Templar in this army. So, uh, this is going a lot better than I thought. Plus, Links are going to make their way down here to the bottom left. If he can snipe that base and get a base up over here as well, he's going to be looking better and better in this game. Now, still, Zealots are going to be popping out here, um, fighting against these Hydras. What are the upgrades for uh, quickly looking like? 2 2. All right. 1 1 for the Lings, of course. Does manage to pick off that base. Should be able to take this fifth base now. We're gonna get into plague here very soon. Not a great, not not a great drone saturation overall, but he's got eight more workers than his opponent. So still feeling okay here. And quickly, I mean, he's gotta be feeling like he just lost his edge. It's one of the worst feelings in Brood Wars when you feel like you're way ahead of your opponent. You're doing very, very well, and then Things just slip away from one bad engagement. Um, and that feel, that feeling of slippage. Like things are really starting to get out of hand. One of the worst feelings uh, you can have in a video game, I think. We've got the probe down here in the bottom left. Gonna be snagging that base. But meanwhile, trying to dive on some probes here, or some Templar here. They do manage to get their storms off though. Another round of lings making their way down to the bottom left. Are we on 2-2 two, two yet? I think we might be. 2-2 two, two is done. That is huge. And 3-3 three, three is on the way. While we're just here on 2-2 two, two as the Protoss with 3-3 three, three just being started. They're not too far off from each other. So 
I mean, the armor upgrades are going to be equal to the attack upgrades from the Protoss for quite some time. This makes the Lings way more powerful. They are so much better in these type of uh, situations here with these upgrades. Oh, man. Great storm there. Does deal some damage to his own stuff, too. But managing to clean up all the Lings. A pretty decent hold by quickly. But will he lose this Nexus? Oh, God. The Nexus. I think he canceled. I do believe he canceled, but I wasn't paying attention to the minerals there. Um, that was really, really close if it was a cancel. Yikes. Okay, quickly getting the fifth base up finally. That's on the way. Should be able to throw down some cannons here. Still sitting on 40 probes. Being a little light on probes this game, but on only two bases, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm going to focus on cranking out as many units as possible. At this stage in the game. And the army's looking kind of small right now for quickly. I got I gotta say, quickly, really not with the largest army here. Whereas Hyuk is starting to fill out the map. Holy crap, that's a lot of lurkers. A lot of lurkers. All that gas he was saving up for so long. Finally being dumped in somewhere. And there's the big army from quickly that I was looking for, but. Could he potentially break up this ramp? It's going to be tough to take control of the center left. That might end up going to Hyuk. And with that being the case, things are going to get very hard for quickly. They'll have to fight over the uh, center right here eventually. We'll see who tries to end up taking that first. If we manage to get that far. Quickly here. Taking the fight, but great plagues come down, hitting a bunch of these units. Not all the zealots get mixed up with that plague, but a lot of the dragons do end up eating that chili sauce, and they're going to burn their tongue for sure, bringing them down to 1 HP. Let's see if it's actually 1 or is it 2. Okay, 2. Sometimes it's 3. All depends on the total amount of HP. Oh, God. One cannon quickly. Just begging to get hit by cracklings down here, and well, yuck, not one to disappoint. He's gonna send cracklings down here immediately to start shutting this down, and he probably kills this actually. I I do think that that nexus is gonna end up falling. Oh man, yuck, taking it late game here, going to the cracklings very very quickly. Making it look really, really powerful. Four lings remain. And zealots are going to be able to clean them up at least. But losing that extra base is so painful. He's just one base behind uh, Hyuk right now. But it feels worse than the situation on paper. Their own's being transferred here over towards that center left. A lot of them are going to end up getting killed as quickly moves to the middle of the map. He can kind of avoid these lurkers here, and he could go for this base. I don't like him going up here. Go for the base on this uh, center left there. Uh, that high ground area doesn't really have too much, but actually, he's just going to ram it up this ramp. Go through all these lurkers. There's only about three lurkers left now. He will end up breaking that, but he's going to end up getting pretty uh, surrounded here. Coming from all sides right now is Yuck. Hitting from behind with a lot of lurkers. Do we have enough storms to blanket this? Wow, the lurkers getting right up on top of everything. Um, dark swarms on all of this as well. The Archons are going to end up going down. Wow, this Archon getting a lot of damage. 11 kill on that Archon. 11 kills, excuse me. You guys really get on me for um, not using plural sometimes, but I'll try my best. Archon. 10 kills, 16 kills. Dude, hero Archons, to say the least. He actually, is he going to break this base? This is ridiculous. How is it that he's actually going to break this? That is crazy. That is absolute madness that this base is going to end up going down. Some great rallying from quickly, and the Archons just picking up a lot of that slack. Of course, the Archons are going to be dead after this. Um... This Archon for sure going to end up going down. Okay, great storm there. Another good storm on this as well. Can he actually hold on to this Archon? 23 Archon kill. Archon finally goes down. 
And this base is going to be saturated here for Hyuk. This is a really close game, guys. I'm getting excited right now. We are dead even on supply, which usually favors the Zerg player. How are we doing on minerals? We're like two bases apiece, which favors, honestly, the Protoss uh, in most cases. Protoss should be feeling good about that. Being on two bases here versus two base. Uh, it's an enviable situation for any Protoss player to be in. I'm going to pick off the last few Lurkers over here. But a big round of Ling's going to make its way forward. Storms do go down, but he's not able to finish off this last round of Ling's. And dude, that was really the last round. Holy crap. Dude. Let's just see how close this game is right now. We've got just almost nothing coming out here for quickly. Just a few units making their way out. Two Templar, five Zealots. We've got a few Lurkers. This one obviously very low on the HP. One shot away from death. This one pretty low as well. We've got another one there. This is a very low HP Lurker. We've got nothing up here, nothing over here. How many Lings in total do we have right now? What is this? 12 Lings? 12 Lings, four Lurkers. A few more links. Another Hydra popping out here. Dude, this was so close. This was so close. I think we should have fought this out as quickly. I really do. I feel like this, um... This game state is not unwinnable right now. We've got... Quite a few... Um... Gateways here that are producing. And we've got 800 minerals. 600 gas. We can make a lot more Archons with that much gas. And we're basically down to just pure Ling right now here for Hyuk. Dude, I don't know, man. I feel like quickly probably could have pulled this out if you'd really gutted it out. Oh, there's another group of Lings down here. I mean, that's not crazy. We saw earlier 23 kill Archon. You could easily wipe that out with a few extra Archons here. This is wild, man. I really am curious how this game would have played out uh, had quickly stuck in there and kept going. The attack over to here, uh, although th attacking this base would have actually been miles better because <laughs> as you can see, there was a huge lurker army here and a huge lurker army here, but there was nothing over here uh, when the army busted through the middle right, right down this direction. If he would have wiped out this base first, that would have died in seconds. And he could have rotated back, or he could have gone this way, come around here, make his way over towards the natural, uh, pull him out of position. There's a lot of different things you could do. Um, even just coming over here, or even just going over here and forcing the lurkers to start to move, uh, can open up opportunities to break other locations. But the push through here was crazy. It did work, though. Then it got this base taken down. It just made things super, super scrappy, though. Uh, because the army did not trade that well. But props to Hyuk as well for sticking this one out. It's very hard to make a comeback when you lose this hatchery. You know, you lose your third base hatchery, the main hatch. And you got a like, long-distance mine off of just a few patches on here. And your gas is terrible mining as well. Um, for a long time while you're trying to get this hatchery back up. Plus, you're missing, uh, you know, one-sixth of your production as well. Very, very difficult spot. But I really respect the super quick hive uh, with the very fast 1-1 one, one Ling attack upgrades right into uh, the Adrenal Glands upgrade and getting that big flank that we saw in the middle of the map. That was a really big moment for Hyuk. I think that's when the momentum kind of shifted out of, you know, quickly being fully favored uh, into a much more even uh, canter on the game. This was a really great back and forth, guys. I'm really enjoying quickly and his replays that we found so far on the ladder. 
Shout out to Dude Nerd for uh, posting these. These are some great, great replays. I'm really looking forward to casting a few more games with Quickly in the future. So make sure to like and subscribe, guys, to the video. I really appreciate you guys coming out for your daily dose of Brood War. And I'll see you tomorrow.